online and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can raise a sales invoice using Zero accounting software. Okay, diving straight in from this Zero dashboard I'm going to click accounts and sales. Okay, from here I'm just going to go new invoice. This is the main invoice screen and you just need to go through a box by box filling in the details. So if the two box that is the name of the customer that you're invoicing here I'm just going to put customer number one. Notice it's also auto filled it for me, so I can just press tab and it will finish that off. Date, I'm going to put today's date, which is the 19th of February. And due date will obviously depend on the payment terms that you have with that specific customer. I'm going to do seven day terms, so 26th. Invoice number, I'm going to just let zero do that for me. It will add one each time you raise a sales invoice. Reference, I'm going to leave this blank, but if you've been asked to reference a PO number, when you send your invoice to your client, then this box is where you should put that. Okay, branding, leave the standard, currency, GBP, and amounts are tax exclusive. That, that's about VAT. Okay, item, I will leave blank. This, this is about inventory items, so if you're selling like physical goods, then you probably want to use this. I'm doing this from the perspective of a contractor, so I'm going to leave it blank and go straight to description. Here, this is what's going to appear on the invoice as the service that you've provided. So I'm just going to put five days contracting at £400 per day. Quantity, five. And unit price, 400 Obviously, five days, £400 per day. Discount, I'll leave blank, but you might want to use if you've got standard prices and then offer specific discounts for specific clients. It will show the discount on the invoice and it will also calculate it for you. Account, you can use the drop down menu here. If you've set up a variety of sales accounts, you could choose the most relevant for you. This account, we've just really got the catch all of sales, so let's do that. Tax rate 20%, it's done it automatically because Zero knows that I'm VAT registered. If you're not VAT registered, it will automatically say no VAT, um, or if you sort of have Complicated VAT due to the services you provide, you could put no VAT there or exempt income, whatever's appropriate, or if you're selling to Europe, zero rated EC income. Okay, the region is a special tracking field which you might not see on your zero account, but you could certainly add it in by going into the settings up here. It basically allows you to later filter certain invoices by the tracking options you put in. So for example, if I put sales here, I can do the same for various expenses and then I could run various reports just sort of filtering out all the other regions and just look at south. It doesn't have to be regional, you could put whatever you wanted in here. If you had a number of clients you could put specific client names in there and then you could see which clients are profitable. Okay, but I'll leave it blank. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just click approve now. Okay, here we are. So we've got two choices to how we get it over to our client. You can email it directly from Inzero, uh, just putting an email address there, and then you can edit this box as much as you want. The way Zero do it, it's kind of enough. It's pretty, pretty formal language they use, uh, but that's fine. But I'm just going to go to print PDF here, which will save a PDF on my desktop that can uh, then be emailed. Okay, here we go. So this is using the demo company logo, clearly, and I think pretty much has everything we need on here. You could add an address, which you probably should do. You can do that there where it says add address, look. Okay, probably worth mentioning a few things you must include on any invoice that you're sending out. If you're a limited company, you should have your registered company number, which is that number there. You should also have your registered office address. That might be your address up here at the top right or it might be a different address either way it has to be on there somewhere finally if you're VAT registered you should have your VAT number on there as long as zero knows your VAT registered from the settings and you put your number in there it will automatically come on also in the, in the invoice settings you can choose to get rid of this payment advice slip I would normally do that as this is really for, if you ask people to pay you by check so it uh, sh shows what this check relates to I think it's probably pretty outdated now so normally just get rid of it also these little icons are totally flexible whether you have them in there or not 
Okay, so that's pretty much how to do it. I uh, hope that's useful, and thanks for watching.